Hello everyone, it's me Sabrina and today I want to just share the galactic alignment for this new moon eclipse on October the 2nd, 2024 and the sun is trining Hades which is a star cluster in the bull of Taurus. It's in the face of Taurus and specifically the star is called Ain, A-I-N. It is trining the sun. So the influence coming in is really linked to our Lyran roots. A lot of Lyran refugees went to Hades, among other star systems, after the Draconian Wars. Um, so there is this powerful influence of deep ancestral wisdom and connection. We're going to pair that with the moon, and the moon is conjunct the supergalactic center. So anytime the moon is conjunct the supergalactic center, right away, it's all about the emotions of the person and the collective. So what I'm gathering is that the super galactic center is helping us become aware of these deep, deep thoughts we have that are pretty limiting or self-sabotaging, and they're really, really old. It's coming from it's coming to us from our ancient past, and the galactic center is pulling it forward so we can look at it. And there is that Libra energy here helping us to balance it out so we can course correct what thoughts we're holding and becoming aware of that we know aren't serving us, that we know we believe them because they run on autopilot and it's a lot easier to continue thinking these things instead of shifting out of them. But the trine from Hades is not only symbolizing the ancient past of ourselves, the galactic part of ourselves, but also in its full expression, this energy, our wisdom and peacekeepers. So how can we bring the peace within ourselves um, and use this conjunction with the super galactic center to help us become fully aware or at least more aware of what the beliefs are we want to change. And because this is a new moon, the energy really is working in our favor because you can plant the seed now like a beautiful, you know, plum seed and plant it and plant it with really good thoughts and commit to yourself that every time you catch yourself going into a lower density thought pattern, you can, you know, allow yourself to think it for a moment and be like, yep, okay, sure. I could think that, but I'm going to course correct and choose something else. So you're getting the opportunity to really plant those seeds and let it germinate over for the next six months and just notice how every day, every month, you can really start to have a better handle on your mental health and really piece it together with this vision of peace that you want for yourself and for everyone else. So the more we can do this healing work for ourselves, the greater it is for our collective. And just know that all the stars and nebulas and planets that are shining out into this world are so much a part of us and they all live in us. So they're not that far out of reach. Um, we are all connected. Sorry about that. And um, you hold a lot of power. So your awareness 
is a really great first step in starting to alchemize that power. So many happy, magnificent things your way and much peace and love to all of you. Thank you for watching. Peace out.